Speaker Paul Ryan making several stops in his district today to hold employee town halls. He answered questions on Foxconn, tax reform, and improving the education system in America. Ricky Mitchell live in Franklin with more. That's right. Paul Ryan was here at Alice Roller answering questions from employees. Now, this is a company that focuses on machining and fabrication. And Paul Ryan was very interested in a unique program that they have here that teaches high school students. It's something Ryan says he would like to see more of. After a brief tour of Alice Roller in Franklin, Speaker Paul Ryan addressed the company and praised them for recently hiring 25 new employees. But he says the country's tax code needs reforming so more companies can follow suit. Is we have a really bad tax system. And our tax system right now penalizes American businesses in a way that our foreign competitors don't. He followed up on the issue after the town hall when asked his thoughts on Senate Democrats saying tax reform should not benefit the wealthiest individuals. Tax reform will pay for itself. Uh, but what I think what people are missing when they use this, this, this rhetoric Let's take a look at this business right here. This is an LLC. So as far as people are concerned, this business should not get a tax cut. This LLC files their taxes as an individual. This business's top tax rate is 44.6%. They're competing against foreign competitors who are taxed at a fraction of that. But Ryan's main reason for visiting this company, a program that employs high school age students so they can learn manufacturing skills while earning credit for school. We have to get back to the notion that, it, that a two-year school is cool. I mean, it really is. You can learn great skills, great trades, have a good career, make a really good living, and you don't have to go to the four-year school and load up on a bunch of debt um, and spend years working it off. Now, as expected, Foxconn also came up during today's town hall, specifically the incentive package that the state is offering so the company will come here. He was asked several times, and Speaker Ryan basically said that without that incentive package, the company would have chosen a different state and that it will be a game changer for this area. Reporting live in Franklin, Ricky Mitchell, today's TMJ4. All right, Ricky, thanks.